All right, so since that's what the weather's doing today, I figured it's a perfect time for this one day build. And uh, what we're gonna be building today is basically a Python script slash kind of a shell script. And what this script is gonna be able to do is automate the process of creating a new project for me. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by creating a new project. So what the process of starting a new project usually looks like is I open a terminal window then I navigate to where I usually keep my projects, which is in this folder. So now I'm in my projects folder, and then I create a new folder called new, let's say. And then once I've done that, I navigate into that project folder, and then I create a readme file. And then I usually do git init. So I start a new git repository. And then I go to github.com and I create a new repository. I name it new and then I create the repository. And then I copy this remote that you get here and I add it to my project folder. Then I do git add dot git commit. And then I do git push like so and then finally the last part is i do code dot and i open it in visual studio code so what i would like to do now is automate this entire process because this is what i do every time that i start a new project what i want to be able to do is to create a terminal command that can be something like create and then uh, the name of the project that I want to create. So let's say Cal or something like that. And then it should automatically navigate to the right folder and it should create a new folder called Cal. And then it should do this entire process automatically. So I figured I s I'll start with just writing up the all the different steps so that we have that. All right, so this is now the to-do list. This is all the stuff that we have to do. So first navigate to my projects, create a folder with project name, navigate into that folder, uh, git in it, go to GitHub, create new repository, copy the remote, add the remote to my local folder, create a readme file, do the git add, git commit, git push, and then code dot, which is what opens Visual Studio Code for me. So what I have to do now is kind of figure out what the best way to do this is. And I think that the way that I'm going to go about it is basically create a shell script with a command like create, and then I can add some sort of input parameter like name of the folder. And then that should run a Python script because I believe I need to do some like web scraping sort of things to be able to go to GitHub and get all of that done. And I think Python is really good for that. So that's why I want to use Python for that. But first I'm just going to research it, try to find out what the best way to go about this is. All right, so I kind of ran into a bit of a stupid problem and that was that I was trying to run a Python script called hello.py, but the Python script that I've created is called create.py. So there isn't a Python script called hello.py. So of course it couldn't run it. Basically it's probably because I followed this tutorial. I didn't copy this. I just like was probably so into this that I kind of accidentally just wrote hello.py and I couldn't get it to run, couldn't figure out why, but now I was able to figure out why. So basically now I'm just printing hello in this script but now if i type in create and some argument then it should just print hello first and then it should also print the argument that i'm typing in so let's do clear so if i type in create and then let's say cal then it should first print hello and then print cal and it does that. So now what I need to figure out is how to get this input parameter into the Python script so that I can use it within the Python script. Because right now I can do create and then I can type in something and this is then what I wanna be able to use as the folder name and as the git repository name. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try to figure out now. All 
All right, so I was able to figure it out and now we're actually able to use the argument within the Python script. And uh, also what I added is some navigation. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna be able to run this command from anywhere within any directory and it should always put the new folder or the new project within a very specific folder that I wanna put it in. So uh, what I added is basically this command here, cd, which navigates back to the base directory. Then we run the Python script and then we navigate into the folder where I wanna put the new project. So when this runs now, what should happen is it should print whatever argument that I put in and then it should navigate to my projects. So uh, let's run it and see what happens. Actually, let's navigate to desktop just to show that even if we're in another directory, we can still run the script. So let's do create and then go cal. So now it should print cal and navigate to my projects. All right, so we printed cal and it navigated to the my projects folder. So that works. We're able to navigate to the projects folder. Now the next step is to create a folder with the project name, and then we wanna navigate into that folder. All right, so now we're able to create a folder and add it to the right directory. And we're also able to do something which I think was pretty cool, which is just being able to open up a web browser and go to github.com and then press the username field. All right, so let's just try to run it and hope that it works. So it opens up GitHub and it presses the username field. So now the next step is to basically just be able to uh, type in the username and then type in the password and then press the sign in button. And uh, the way that we do this, like if you right click in Chrome and then you press the inspect, then you get all these different tabs like elements, console, sources, network, all etc. Basically on the elements, you can get all of the HTML stuff. So if we see this div here, we can see that, okay, that contains this. And then we just keep moving until we find the element that we're looking for. So this is an input and uh, the name is equal to login. The way that it worked, I was able to just use this thing to press the login. But I think you can also do something like this. If you right click and then you copy the X path and then I can paste that here. Yeah, I think that should work. Not sure though, but I think it should work. All right, so let's try that. And then I think that what I need to do is, I think it's send keys. And then this is where we add the username, like so. And now what should happen is it should open up the web browser and it should type in my username here as well. Again, let's run it and uh, hope that it works. Okay, I wasn't able to do that. Okay, so it didn't work because I already created the folder and it's trying to create another folder named Cal, which will not work. So let's just not create a folder for now and then try to run it. Now it should work, I think. Yeah, so it types in my username. So now we just need to type in the password and then sign in. So now I just need to do the same thing for the password. And I did create a new password for this video so that I don't have to blur everything. So basically we just copy this and then paste it below. And then we need to find the X path for the password. So we go to the password here and then we copy the X path again. And then we just add it here. See if it works straight away. Copy the password, paste it as this key that we wanna send, save it, and then let's try to run it. I think we need to do single quotes on the password and then run it. Yeah, so it does it, pretty cool. And now the last thing is just to press the sign in button and then we should be signed in. Okay, so um, now it's time to test it. It should just open up GitHub and log in. That's basically all that it should do. Uh, let's see if it does it. Yes, so it does it. It works. Now the next thing is just to figure out how to add a new repository. So we want to navigate to this thing here, add a new repository. Yeah, so that's the next step. All right, 
So I was able to solve it in a, a simpler way, which is just that once I've logged in and all that stuff is done, then it basically just navigates to a new repository. So to this link. And uh, now what we need to do is just create the repository. All right, I think this could be pretty good right now. If I do create and then I run it, then basically it opens this thing up, goes here. My new project. I think, I think this is really cool. I don't know why, but I think it's super cool. And now all we have to do is basically press create repository. And then, yeah, let's do that first, see what happens. So the problem is that I'm not able to get the right button here. I'm so close to, to actually being able to make this work, which is exciting, but it's like, I just want to be able to click that freaking button. But finally, I was able to figure out how to do it. And now I used a CSS selector to uh, get the button and the button is this button and then it basically uh, submits it and creates a new repository so now if we just do create and say cal's repo then it will do everything for me it creates the uh, repo. All right, so now what we need to do is let's have a look at what we've done so far. Go to GitHub and create a new repository. Copy the remote is now the next thing that we need to do. So let's do that. Okay, um, I think this might be uh, it actually. Uh, well, we want to close the browser as well. Uh, well, we'll just start with this thing and then uh, we'll see uh, what it does. And now we can try to actually create something. So uh, let's say that we want to create a repository called water app, let's say. This will go here, it logs in, it opens, creates a repository called water app. And then it should have done everything that I wanted it to do. Uh, I think it actually has, like it created the readme file, which is great. Now, if we go to this one, we can see there's actually an initial commit. Yes. Oh, this, I think this is pretty cool. Like now, all I have to do if I want to create something, where, wherever I am in the terminal, all I have to do is just type create. And then I just have to type in whatever name of the folder that I want to create or the project that I want to create. And then it will do everything else for me. It will create the folder. It will add a repository to GitHub. It will commit the first commit and add the readme file. And then it will open it up in Visual Studio Code which is where I usually work for everything that I do. I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, it worked out really good. All right, so now basically it should uh, do the same thing as it did before. But then now once it's created the thing, it should close. Yeah. So it closed the browser and then it opens this, uh, this thing. So that was the final step was just, and that was just browser.quit and that did the whole thing. So um, now it works and now also added it to GitHub so that you can download it yourself and use it as well in case you want to. And uh, I'll also add the link to this repository in the description of this video in case you want to have a look or use it yourself.
So that's it for this one day build and uh, like I said before I'm really happy with the outcome of this project and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, that's it for this one.